Hey, this is uh, Monty Christensen with the Mountain Bark uh, Channel. We're in Elbow Valley Estates today. We're building some split rail cedar fence. Just uh, want to talk to you a little bit about what are some of the basic tips, what we like to do. like to see is if you look at these uh, these rails they all have a, a wide side and a skinnier side they're very trapezoidal and so generally speaking you want to put the the widest part of that rail okay facing up uh, one other tip that we like to use we always like to see the nicest straightest rail of any one that we put in uh, on the top rail as you install your fence your eye always is looking at the top profile and so we really like that. As you build this fence also, we got kind of like the leapfrog our way. So as you can see the boys there, the, the, the hole is loose. And so we string our rails. Uh, we make sure that the profile is good, the level's good. Uh, with this style of fence, it's, um, a lot of it's just to do with visually appealing. So you want to maintain the same spacing, you know, as you do across the, the length of the fence. The rule of thumb is 27 inches in the ground. In this case, we're going a little bit higher. Uh, we're actually doing a replacement of a, of a project of older fencing, and the older fencing was a little bit longer. And so um, we're trying to mimic what they did in the past. And so, as you can see, like we, we're trying to match that top profile with what, what's going on in the past. And we also got to know what's, we got to keep in mind what's going to happen down the road here. So we like to tamp with uh, road crush. Tamper up really good. You tamp back into the post. And that makes that, that post nice and secure if you get some good road crush in there. It is a somewhat laborious endeavor. You're kind of steadily building it as you go. But just want to make sure you're tamping, you know, with some good material. And that's going to really secure that fence. things I really like about this fence is its uh, longevity you know split rail cedar fence is is renowned for its longevity you know you don't have to worry about using any chemicals or any preservatives to preserve it uh, another thing I really like about it over time is that you know the cedar initially could be a little slivery but over time it, took, as it takes on a really soft nature as it you know as the weathers and stuff like that one other feature that we have in our, in our fence and the pure country fence is what we call the chamfered top and that, what that means is that is that it's just been rounded slightly, and what that helps, it just helps shed that water, and so that water has some place to go. The thing with the split rail is you always got to be aware of what the ground is doing before and after, so you you maintain an even spacing. We like to maintain an even spacing. Uh, this space here. Is kind of the guide that we like to use. You can go a little bit more if you want to. Um, so you can see is it, you know, our, our space from the ground to the bottom of the bottom rail is similar to what we have here. There are jobs that go a little bit higher, but the higher you go, I think the more flimsy a fence you have. <laughs> 